Hi there, and let's get to it. Today we're looking at the multicam editing tool, which is a new one for DaVinci Resolve, only available in version 12. Multicam editing is the ability to synchronize multiple takes or angles of a single event and to switch between them live as they play. So this is very much how television broadcasting works with multiple camera angles, but it's also something that's used in editing when working with multicam interviews or music videos. So I just happen to have the raw 4K footage from a music video one of my students shot in London. And we're going to be synchronizing the four different location takes that they recorded for it. I'm going to begin by clicking and dragging to add all the angles to the media pool. I'm then going to select all the clips, right click, and indicate that I want to turn them into a multicam clip. I'll put in the name of the artist and the song. Uh, my frame rate reflects the frame rate of the footage and most importantly it's asking me how I'm going to synchronize these clips. If I had something like a clapperboard, for example, I could have used that as a reference to drop some in points at the beginning of all the clips and use that as a reference. The time codes are also individual to each clip and not synced, but one thing they did record was sound and that's something that DaVinci will be able to analyze and sync up. After a few seconds, my clips have become synchronized and I now have my multicam clip available in the bin. In the bottom left corner, I have a symbol indicating that this is a multicam. And inside of the viewer on the media page, I'll start off by seeing the first video that started rolling, but then as I play through, then all of the alternative angles will reveal themselves one by one. Excellent. I can now go into the edit page and generate a new timeline. Now I can drag and drop the video and the associated audio file with it. Before we start multicam editing, I want to point out that the multicam clip operates just like a compound clip or a timeline inside of another timeline. You can right click on it and open it in the timeline to reveal all four camera angles at the same time and all the associated audio tracks. So that means that you can continue editing these clips like you would any other clip on any regular timeline. You can start adjusting the color grades in case you want to match the clips up. You can start pushing them down the timeline if they're slightly out of sync, deleting them, disabling the audio channels that you don't want to use. To get out of this mode, click up the hierarchy into the original timeline. And inside of the source viewer, turn on multicam. So it's going to look very similar to the source itself, but now it gives you the option to start cutting between your camera angles. In the bottom right hand corner, you can choose how many videos you'll see at the same time. So because I only have four angles, I'm seeing two by two, but if I had more, I could choose three by three to show nine videos. If your computer starts lagging and you can't watch the videos back in real time, then you might want to limit this amount, even if it means cutting out some of your angles you'll still be able to navigate between pages of angles using the page controls down here. In the center, you have the ability to indicate whether you want to cut just the video, just the audio, or both. And that's it, you're ready to start. I could indicate that this is where my clip will begin. I'll start playing the clip. Once you're done, you can continue working on your timeline like you would with any other timeline. You have the same trimming capabilities, so if you didn't like where the switch occurred, you can always go back and make your changes. If you don't like the angle that you chose, you can right-click and switch multicam clip angle. And that's all there is to it. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time.